I'm Sanjay Sinha. I'm a British Heart Foundation Senior Research Fellow. I'm also an honorary consultant in cardiology at Brooks Hospital. The British Heart Foundation funds the majority of cardiovascular research in the UK. It funds five out of the seven people in my lab, including myself, so I'm very grateful to the British Heart Foundation and their ongoing support. It's brilliant to have great, intelligent, motivated, enthusiastic young scientists. Um, and having the British Heart Foundation providing the funding for PhDs means that these enthusiastic, motivated people can actually get in there and do science. And that's what they want to do. And it means that hopefully with good training, they'll come out as the cardiovascular researchers of the future who are gonna carry on doing this work and pushing this work ahead. The main focus of our team is on looking at smooth muscle cells. These are the cells that make up the walls of blood vessels. So in, in essence, the first thing we're trying to understand is how do blood vessel walls grow and how do they develop? And by understanding normal development, we can actually understand what goes wrong in disease. The question is, can we use these models to come up with new treatments? And that's what Johannes is using in his project. I'm Johannes Pogier. I'm a PhD student with a medical background and we are a vascular lab here. We are interested in smooth muscle cells. In particular, we are interested in coronary smooth muscle cells because they make up the blood vessels in the heart. So we are currently working on a heart patch that consists of heart muscle cells and blood vessel cells and that is supplied uh, by blood vessels and that is a very important goal to achieve actually. We then want to take this heart patch and transplant it on the heart with an impaired heart function. I think there has been quite a history in the lab in, in terms of the history with the BHF. It has given us the opportunity to go over to Seattle to Professor Chuck Murray's lab, which is one of the world leading labs in cardiac regeneration, and then taking back this expertise here to Cambridge. And we believe that if we fuse the technology on cardiac regeneration of this lab and the blood vessel expertise that we have in our lab, that we can make a huge step towards true cardiac regeneration. So this is one of our tissue culture labs. Here is where we grow our stem cells. And we also take these stem cells through different developments to get epicardium, for example, and other tissues of interest. The epicardium is the heart layer in human development that covers the heart. The epicardium is quite a key tissue that we are trying to get to grow the cells that make up the blood vessels. So the key reason really that keeps me going and that keeps me doing my research is by the end of the day, the patient. So I am very, very dedicated to do this for the patient and to bring across some, some benefit for um, therapeutics that will emerge in the future and that patients can benefit from. I have a lot of hope in this sort of research. I think that it really can make a difference. I'm Will Bernard. Um, I'm on a four-year British Art Foundation PhD studentship. Um, and I'm studying the mechanisms by which uh, cells within blood vessels communicate with each other and how this goes wrong in disease. This PHF funding was fantastic for me. When I came straight from my undergraduate, I was awarded this PHF studentship down here, which gave me the opportunity to do research in three different labs in three completely different fields and things that I'd never done before to try and help me carve out my own niche in science. Um, without the funding, I would have no opportunity to do this at all. And um, this money has allowed us to do a wealth of research um, that is starting to really underpin some of the genetic causes and the developmental causes of vascular disease. You can be in the lab day in, day out, working with tubes, working with samples that you can't even see, but when you can see what happens in the clinic and how it can translate and how it can change families, that's the sort of thing that, that can really push you forward. My name is Dr. Alex Granata, and I'm working on a particular type of stem cells. Uh, these are stem cells generated from skin biopsy uh, of patients. My research is giving me exciting results because I've been able to generate the first vascular model of Marfan syndrome in a dish. 
basically is a model made with human cells. Amazing potential because it can be used uh, to understand uh, the, the causes of the disease. Also, uh, is important for testing drugs. So it's basically give the opportunity to do a clinical trial in a dish. I see patients with heart failure every day when I'm on the wards. It's very debilitating. I mean, day-to-day -day things that you or I would take for granted, whether it's getting dressed, having a shower, walking down the road to the shops, you know, it's a challenge if, if your heart isn't working right. I'm very excited by what my team are doing. We're making advances on a whole range of fronts. Uh, people in the scientific field are very excited about this. Uh, the work that's going on, we believe, will lead to major advances in understanding heart disease and also treating it. We need support over the long period. So we really appreciate the support that we get from you. We have the great opportunity to make a big difference, a real difference to uh, heart disease.